Now you'll probably all agree that healthy bones and joints are extremely important throughout all stages of life for both men and women. We've heard that maintaining bone density and joint health is essential in later years of life, but what happens if we don't take care of our bone health? Well, our bones become weak and brittle, causing osteoarthritis and osteoporosis. Scary words, I know. Let's hear how to take care of our bones and how natural supplements can help strengthen them. Dr. Tucker, can you explain a little bit more what these scary words actually mean? What is osteoporosis and what is osteoarthritis? So osteoarthritis is an inflammation. Any itis is an inflammation. And osteoarthritis is an inflammation which emanates when the joints become inflamed. And that the commonest cause is that the two bones begin rubbing against each other. And that's because the cartilage, which is the pillow between the bones, gets destroyed, gets denuded, gets eroded, and then gets extinct so that the two bony surfaces clash against each other. Sandiva, gatia, joint pains, bones and groans, which used to be only associated with the elderly. We are seeing in the younger group. We are seeing early. That's osteoarthritis. And osteoporosis is porous. The bone becomes free of calcium or depleted of calcium. So you have brittle bones. So osteoporosis is when the mineralization of the bone becomes weak. These are the two distinct terms. Got it. Now, my grandmother had arthritis. My mom is prone to it as well. So what exactly can we do to prevent that loss of cartilage or that loss of calcium in the bones, Dr. Desai? So as uh, Dr. Tucker mentioned, it's an overall process of the body. So if you look at it, it's osteoarthritis and osteoporosis is a part of your uh, growing in, in the whole system. So you need to take care as we spoke earlier about the entire body. So when we look at the joints, we look at the bones, it's called as a musculoskeletal system. That means there are the bones, which are the framework. There are the joints which are connecting your bones and there is a muscle which is giving a framework or which is giving a cushion to all your body. Now just, just to give you an analogy which is there, you look at a building that you are sitting in. So there is steel and concrete which is basically can be uh, too similar to a bone. The whole interiors and everything which is there is built of your muscles and skins which are there. So as you grow older, and because of the lifestyles that you are doing, there are degenerative changes that are happening. And if you look at certain buildings, the new ones are looking fresh, they are looking very good. The older ones become porous if you look at it. There are leaks in it, there are cracks into it. If you go and try to open the doors, they are creaking, they are squeaking because there is not good amount of, uh, what to say, lubrication which is there. So you need to take care not only of your bones, your joints but also the muscles. In fact, Dr. Thakkar always keeps on talking of sarcopenia. He talks of the good muscle health. So therefore, you need to have a lifestyle which is there. So when you look at taking care of your bones, several factors are responsible for a healthy bone. Calcium. Calcium is one of the most important part and calcium or the mineral which is there. Calcium deficiency is very, very common in today's world. Vitamin D3. Because of all of us not going out, what do we do? We get out of our house, sit into a car, get into our office, not exposed to sunlight. So sunlight is responsible for synthesis of vitamin D3. So calcium and vitamin D3 not there. Collagen, which is again an important aspect of your bony structure which is there. So calcium, vitamin D3, uh, collagen, these are the things which are there. Secondly, what happens is that unhealthy habits, the kind of lack of exercise which is there in a lot of people, the excess of alcohol and smoking which is there, diabetes which is so common these days is also leading to a kind of a bone health which is not suitable for sustenance. So there are several factors as I said again uh, uh, it's not one factor 
and you need to have a balanced diet you need to have a proper speed a sleep you need to take care you need to exercise so there are multiple factors which are going to take place which whereby you can take care of your bones your joints and your muscles because the muscles are supporting your bone and as dr thakkar said what happens in osteoarthritis the two bones are rubbing against each other the pillow the cartilage which is there has worn off why it has happened probably because your muscles are not supporting also your bone because of sarcopenia so you need to take care of your muscles you need to exercise them you need to strengthen them so therefore the uh, orthopedicians when you go to them one of the things they always mention is that do exercises strengthen your muscles and that's how you can strengthen your entire musculoskeletal system now basically i think i'm trying to i'm starting to get the picture here everything is connected now dr tucker you mentioned that more and more people are getting these issues at a younger age is that just because we're more technology focused because we don't go outside as much what is the reason for that so you know you hear a lot of people saying i need to oil my joints what is oiling the joint as dr desai said the muscle is not well built the muscle health is not good so there is improper articulation of the bones improper articulation of the bones results in denuding of the cartilage so this cartilage when it gets eroded either because of poor lifestyle or poor nutrition you're not having enough calcium you're not getting vitamin d your collagen is inadequate you need to do something and this cushion which is the cartilage is made up of collagen there are many types of collagen but that collagen when it gets depleted you get pain you get swelling you get the underlying bones getting affected so for this to begin early you can use collagen supplementation if your arthritis has begun early you can begin collagen supplementation because when you give collagen not only does it relieve the pain but it improves the health of the cartilage the cartilage will last longer you have to make sure that you burn the candle longer but you don't burn it in an unhealthy way by the same token you got to give adequate calcium and you can't go out in the polluted skies and take sunlight because the sunlight which you get is inadequate the rays going through those polluted clouds is not ultraviolet specific so you need vitamin d supplementation along with that there are certain other components which are well recognized chondroitin glucosamine these two factors along with collagen have become the household word for athletes badminton players cricketers who are using or overusing their joints so for people who do not have a soft kind of impact thudded exercise for people who cannot alter the heavy lifestyle for people who are obese and put 20 kilos more on the same joints for diabetics who do not eat well and who do not heal well you need some kind of supplementation and that supplementation cannot come from only eating calcium or only having vitamin d the short answer is if you give this kind of person a nutraceutical while he continues his lifestyle he must he must exercise properly he must have low impact workouts he must have good sleep good rest to the muscle but if he takes this chondroitin and glucosamine and everything else that goes with it his joint will last longer because modern medicine has a answer for everything you go to the surgeon if it's paining he'll say knee joint replace karo so you are at two ends of the spectrum and we as clinicians want to keep you in the middle rung keep your joint healthy use nutraceuticals 
and make your candle last longer and burn better. Now you both have fire analogies today, the candle, the building. Now in order to sustain our building or our candle longer, is this something that you would say is preventative only or can these nutraceuticals, Dr. Desai, be used as a solution to bone problems that we have such as osteoporosis or osteoarthritis? So as we discussed earlier, uh, the modern medicine, other drugs, so if you have a joint pain, you are going to be given the NSAs as we call it, the painkillers. However, these painkillers cannot be given for a longer duration. It has been recognized. Then they can have kidney problems. They can have certain effects on the livers at certain point of time. And therefore, you need to restrict them. However, how do you really take care of your pain? And that's where then you need to add these nutraceuticals. That's where, as Dr. Uh, Tucker mentioned, obesity is one of the most important part of your weight on the joints. So you need to reduce your weight. That's where you need to take care of your diabetes. And therefore, it's a, it's a combination of all efforts which are there. So these nutraceuticals which are there, they will help you to decrease the effects of your modern drugs that you are taking, the painkillers which are there. As Dr. Tucker mentioned, yes, once the joint gets destroyed, and it's like, it's like a tire of your car, the once it starts getting eroded, at some point of time, you need to replace it. So you would probably want to go for a joint replacement surgery. However, but if you can prolong that period, if you can have that joint maintained for a longer duration by use of these nutraceuticals, by use of collagen, glucosamine, chondroitin sulfate, vitamin D3, calcium, all these things will help you also to maintain your joint for a longer period. At the same time, your muscle health around those joints is also very important, as I said, because it has been found in research that your results of your joint replacement are much better when you have healthy muscles. Even if your bones are also eroded over a longer period, the results of your joint replacements are not good. So these nutraceutical supplements will help you to also have better outcomes of your surgical treatments that you're going to require in the coming time. Once again, it's all connected. Now, I love that you mentioned um, you mentioned athletes are more in need of these supplements as well because they're doing such high impact workouts. Now, as a sports anchor and a former athlete myself, I I feel like we we have this tendency to think of oh, bone health that only affects us when we're you know past menopause. Um, so, how do you know when it's the right time to start? supplementing your bone health. Dr. Tucker? Half of the Indian cricket team is injured. Oh. And the selection in the morning depends on whose back is not hurting and whose shoulder is not paining. Why? Bowlers are being asked to bowl longer. Fielders are jumping more to catch the ball. So you know at that stage that though you are young, your premenopausal but you're standing on your feet and using it longer. Mm -hmm. So that's the time to sow the seeds of nutritional nourishment. Definitely postmenopausal, because your hormones don't support you, you need nutritional supplement. But at a younger age, when the demand supply situation tilts in favor of high demand, a fast bowler and his right hand shoulder a golfer and his swing. So you need to understand that a policeman standing at the traffic signal for 16 hours a day, waving crazily at the traffic, he needs supplements. You have to understand, unfortunately, patients don't understand that this supplement is not a fly-by-night remedy. You've got to take it because the joint has to be nurtured. Tendulkar realized that he had this elbow problem and the poor gentleman had to go through a lot of period of rest. Now there is a dawn in the era of nutraceuticals for sportsmen, for athletes, for young individuals who are high performance as far as running from place to place. Today, most people have stand-in offices. Nobody wants a sit-down chair. 
What happens to his knees after five years? Nobody asks. But it's in to have a stand-in thing. So there you give him some nutritional support. And this is where a small amount of calcium, magnesium, vitamin E, chondroitin, collagen, all put together goes and walks you the whole mile. That's important. And if I may add so, uh, Dr. Thakkar, the body is in the process, especially the bones, are the, there is bone formation and there is bone destruction. So this is happening continuously through your entire life. So in the earlier age, if you are not taking care of it, if you are not taking care of your bones, if your vitamin deficiencies are there, vitamin D deficiencies, if your calcium deficiencies are there, this whole balance is tilted. And that's where then you start getting osteoporosis, which can then lead to osteoarthritis also, bones which can fracture. So, and, and the muscles also, if you look at it, sarcopenia, which is very common with all these conditions, you start losing muscle mass right from the age of 30 to 35. And by the age of probably 50, you would have, would have lost, some people would have lost 20 to 30 percent of your muscle mass. So they're not supporting your bones. And that's where you need to take care of all these. And at the same time today, onset of diabetes is coming up much at a lower age. We are hearing people who are having diabetes at the age of 40s, even 30s, many of them. And that's where I think you need to take care of your bones, your joints and your muscles at a very early stage in life. So this kind of a package doesn't begin as I said in when you are postmenopausal. yes your body is going undergoing a transformation at that point of time but the transformation has started much earlier and if you take care of your bones your muscles and these lifestyles much earlier you can have a better lifestyle later on and as Dr. Tucker mentioned it's a candle which needs to burn burn sustainably and longer otherwise you go to the Akada in Dabang <laughs> and drink two liters of milk and form that diet or you take the nutraceuticals. And, and Dr. Tucker, as you mentioned in the sportsman, one of the issues which comes up and why these uh, bones can be weak or muscles can be weak is the use of steroids. Yes. So today, because of, for a lot of reasons, the steroid usage has gone up and that can be detrimental to your muscles and to your bones. Okay. Which is why they look at the urine tests. You cannot artificially inflate or take an anabolic steroid. None of the nutraceuticals are steroid based. So healthy refurbishment, sustenance, prolonging and muscle health is through nutraceuticals.